Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install NVIDIA drivers onto your computer if you have a NVIDIA graphics card and this is going to give you the best performance possible on that graphics card to keep it up to date and running smoothly. NVIDIA also provides the use to optimize your games that you play on that computer so that you can optimize the settings available for your specific graphics card. So again, as always, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and also please smash that like button for me. It will help me out a lot and comment down below on some ideas that you think that I should do and ideas on some new videos for me. Hit that subscribe button and also smash that like button for me and let's get started on this video. And welcome back everyone and to start this to install the nvidia graphics drivers you're going to want to start by going down to your web browser i use chrome but you can use any web browser so you're going to open this up here and we're going to go to nvidia.com and it's going to take you to their home page here and as you can see there is a whole bunch of different like uh, announcements and stuff on NVIDIA cards. So to get to the drivers, you're gonna want to go to this drop down here and go to uh, GeForce drivers. And right here we have GeForce drivers, automatic driver updates. You can download this here, or if you want to manu manually search for your drivers, then you can put in your graphics card right here and then start your search. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the automatic driver update. So you're going to want to go and click this download button here. And then it's going to download onto your computer. I already have this installed. So all you have to do is go through the installation process. And then I will pull up exactly where you will be. So I'll cancel this. And all you have to do is just save this and then install the um, application onto your computer. And then I will show you the steps past that point. I'll see you in a moment. And once you have NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed on your computer, then all you have to do, all you have to do to open that is come down to the start button here and just type in NVIDIA. And then the GeForce Experience panel is right here. All you have to do is click on that. And then it's going to pull up all the games that you have installed on your computer to start. And then you're going to want to go over the drivers right here. And to install the latest um, drivers for your graphics card, it will automatically detect what graphics card you have it, um, installed on, on your computer. So every, any graphics card from an NVIDIA that you have in your system, it will automatically detect that. So all you have to do is come up here to check for updates. And obviously I have the latest GeForce game ready drivers, so I don't have an update available right now. But my graphics card was updated on 12.15.2020, version 460.89. So with that comes all the latest um, graphics drivers and everything that you need for smooth gameplay and smooth performance of your system graphics. And if you want to see exactly what settings and stuff you have in here, then right here is uh, this is labeled my rig. So this is all the specs of your computer. So you can see I have a six GTX sixteen sixty. I do plan on getting a uh, a RTX thirty seventy or thirty eighty here very soon, as soon as I can get my hands on one, and that will be much better than a sixteen sixty. But I had to get this one just on a whim, and it was just the one that I could get at the time. So I do plan on getting a 3070 or a 3080 soon, and I will definitely update everybody on the channel, of course, on that performance and specs and everything on the 3070 or 3080. I don't know which one I'm going to get yet, but I will. I do promise to um, do an unboxing on that and do some performance specs and everything, just like a normal unboxing. So I do have 
driver version 460 AMD. I have a Ryzen 5 3600 and I have 32 gigs of RAM and I'm running in a 1440 75 hertz monitor. You can also enable experimental features right here. So if you want the like more beta version of GeForce Experience, then you can have that enabled to have experimental features. I like a stable system, so I don't have that checked. If, if you don't mind having an, uh, maybe a slightly unstable system, you might have bugs every now and then, then you can check that if you want ex the experimental features. Down here you can see everything here that is ready and features that you can use for th your specific graphics card. Um, for mine, um, game optimization, I can do that. Um, game streaming, I can do that with, and I can also stream to an NVIDIA Shield. Um, In-game overlay, I can do that. Freestyle, apply custom filters on your games while you play, so you can put like overlays and stuff on your stream. Um, In-game photographs, you can do that, and VR. If I had a VR setup, then I could also do that. All this stuff here is just setting and settings and stuff that you can do. You can have it automatically download driver updates, and then you can choose to install them or not. You'll have a little notification down here. Right here is the NVIDIA settings. You just right-click on that. The NVIDIA GeForce Experience is right there. When you have an update available, there'll be a little icon right on it, and then you can just click on that, and then it will pull up and install your graphics driver. You can enable or disable the in-game overlay right here and um, desktop notifications, you can set those as well. So I'm going to go to the, or that's my account, but um, in, it does automatically detect the games that you have installed on your system. So it, on my system I have 10 games and it, it checked that 20 hours ago. So if I scan that, it's going to scan my system and check on any games I have installed and it's going to scan and program files program files x86 and then you can set this to automatically optimize newly added games I don't like this feature because I like to set my settings manually because I like it to um, I like to play out how it plays based on certain settings in the game so I, I have this unchecked because I want to manually set my settings because i it just i prefer that it's totally um an opinionated thing you can have this checked if you want to then you don't have to worry about setting your own settings but i find that i can get a little bit higher settings in game if i don't check this if, if i do it myself i find that i can get a little bit higher settings um, a little bit higher uh, quality settings um, this is going to optimize it for the best performance on the system so it's going to um, balance out system and system performance and system um, graphics so it's going to balance that your quality and performance if i set my settings myself i can get a little bit more performance and a little bit more quality of the game i can get a little bit more quality and kind of hurt the performance a little bit more but i've got to push this system to as much as it can I do have this graphics card overclocked as well, and I have um, NZXT's launcher here that automatically will um, overclock my graphics card. And then you have the NVIDIA Shield right here. If you have uh, a NVIDIA Shield device, then you can it'll pull up right here. That's just going to plug in your computer, and then you can stream from that. I find a lot of a lot of guys that game and stuff or gals. Um, they have some type of streaming provider or service installed on their system or like an external device that will stream for them. But um, to go back to the drivers, so this is where you're going to check for driver updates. So you're just going to check for updates and then you can install that if you have one available. And then if you go home here, then you have all your games laid out and then you can um, go in and click details of the game and then you can select optimize so um and then it will optimize your settings to the optimal setting so as you can see these are the settings that i set right here in the current section 
and then on the optimal this is what it is what this is what geforce is um recommending and as you can see i am getting like 75 80 frames on maximum settings and call of duty um cold war and with ultra settings and everything is up almost to the max on most things and i'm still getting like 80 frames a second but um geforce is like toning everything right like way down and it's like the optimal settings i know you you can also set this right here so you can balance this out for quality over like performance and stuff so you can set that yourself this is what it is recommending is like way down to performance and you can also set for whatever screen you're using you can set that as well if you have a multi-monitor setup or windowed um i would like this about like the, the three quarter mark and then you can apply that so then you can optimize your game for the quality that you want by just um changing the slider right here and then you can go from there pretty simple to use i mean there's not really much to it all the settings are very like straightforward and stuff so it gets no runner here and then you can set your settings to you can you can optimize that as well for whatever that you want it's all the quality settings are totally opinionated so i'm just giving you my experience with it um no pun intended with geforce experience um so that is pretty much it for installing your drivers drivers are right here and then um, optimizing your games are all right here so i hope this all helped everyone out that has a um, nvidia graphics card any graphics card it doesn't matter if it's nvidia then you can install this program here and it will optimize your games and also give you the latest drivers are, that are available so i hope this helped everyone out here so please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button for me and that will help me out a lot and i hope everyone has a good day and a merry christmas and peace out